Now that we know how to set presets and take manual samples, we now need to tell the particle counter where it is. That's done in the locations button on the right side of the screen. Hit that button, and what do you get? You get a list of locations exactly like legacy particle counters. Choose any location. Let's choose fill room one. Hit the save button, and you're off and running, ready to take your sample. It's that easy to use the Apex Z. Now, as a bonus, I'll show you one more way of choosing your location when you want to sample with a preset. It can be even easier than what was shown earlier. So you're going to go back to the locations button to see your list of locations and look to the right. You've got all your sample settings. So from this same screen, you can see you've got two little icons. There's a hand and then a one, two, three. The hand is for manual sample settings and the one, two, three are your presets. So if you want to choose a preset, hit the one, two, three and get the pre-made preset options. Choose the preset you want to run and the location, and then you're ready to sample. It's the easiest particle counter to use. You can program the sample settings you use most frequently and change your location and sample settings with two clicks of a button.